All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribe if you're new here. Welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for 2024 family adventure animation film called The Wild Robot. Now here is the plot. Shipwrecked on a deserted island, a robot named Roz must learn to adapt to its new surroundings, buildings, relationships, building relationships with the native animals. Roz soon develops a parental bond with an orphaned gosling. Now here are some of the voice casts. Okay, so right away I saw why so many people love this and that's what brought me to it. But I really was not prepared for how good it was. Uh, it got to be the most fun and cutest film I've ever seen. It was con also constantly funny when it needed to be. And even the, some of the dark parts were even funny. But it's, it's, it's the meanings behind it and how well they did it with... Uh, with of, uh, you know, it was kind of on the, it was in the taste, uh, tastefulness of it, but the, uh, it definitely had that kind of more dark tone for a DreamWorks film um, that I have ever seen, even in, from the 90s. Uh, at least I remember, because I haven't seen those, like, uh, all that stuff from there, but I don't, but it, it was really, really heartfelt, and it was also very advanced when it came to how well the animation was done well. With the details of each animal, uh, I, uh, I at night they had glowing eyes here and there, which made sense because that's realistic. And it, but the the animation, the animation, I can't get over. It was I haven't really seen a whole bunch of these animations from DreamWorks or or Pixar in the past couple of years. That or I don't know. I've seen Toy Story four, and that's kind of a different whole different tone. But this, this is, to me, from what I have seen all the years I've been alive, this, the, this is the most advanced, detailed CGI, or, uh, not CGI, animation that I have ever seen. Uh, from the movements of the wind, from the movements of, of the directions of, uh, if you were to watch an actual movie, this is pretty much it, just an animation form, because they have the above, above, Penny shot, you know, all that stuff. Whoever wrote the story and characters did such a fantastic job with how impactful the feel was to the comedy and the seriousness throughout and the overall message. We even got some action in there, which was actually a very enjoyable surprise. Yeah, so here is my writing. I'll come up with my final thoughts. Honestly, overall, such a fun, beautiful, heartwarming film. Honestly, this is my surprisingly in my second most favorite films of 2024. Um, the Wolverine versus um, Deadpool, uh, obviously number one for me personally, but this easily moves Romus and anything else to the side. This was easily the best animation I have seen in general. I would argue it is a, uh, in the 2000s, I would say second, because Up is my first, my main favorite one. Um, uh, I don't know if Lilo and Stitch is a animation, animation or what you would call it. I don't know. I think it's like more a cartoon to me because it's 2D. Um, but yeah, so I highly, highly recommend this film. It was so good. It was so impactful. It got so much better, 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 better afterwards. And it that's saying something because it hits you right away within the first five minutes with the comedy. And then it gets more and more to the story and the meaning. It, it, I don't want to spoil it for you. It, it Just go, just watch it. Watch it when you have a chance, when you have the rental money or if it goes on um, a streaming service. But it's, it's definitely really good. Um, so, but again, leave your comments down below. 
Um, I'm most curious about that. And uh, till the next time, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.